I kind of figured this would happen. I figured that Devil May Cry 5 would be highly received, is getting glowing reviews, and I figured people who previewed the game in the past had no idea what they were talking about until they had an actual hands-on experience. People complaining about micros, boycotts, that Capcom was pulling at EA, but they pulled out one of the best action games of the year, apparently. I knew that people were part of this outrage culture that preemptively gets on everything, complains about everything that might be a sign of bad news when it's a minuscule problem to them and then all of a sudden the micros in DMC5 really doesn't affect anyone from what the reviewers are saying about the experience. Yeah, I figured as much. I figured Jim Sterling, Young Yeah angry joe like all those people they're gonna give it glaring reviews they already are giving it glaring reviews when we're talking about jim sterling the person who said dmc5 would be bad because it will have microtransactions but he's giving it a glowing review as to why anybody should want to pay to skip the grind as to why your game is so fucking atrocious people don't want to play it because that's what you're saying that's what you're saying when you want to save people time and give them options to skip the grind you're saying your game is fucking bad that's not me saying it that's the director of the game themselves saying that their game is so shit that people will want to pay to not play it oh. You see, we live in the outrage era. The outrage era these days where people get upset when they don't know the knowledge at hand, when people get angry, when they don't know all the information and when the chips finally fall down, when the chips finally fall on the table, people just look like hypocrites for jumping the gun way too preemptively. This is why I wait. I wait until I get more information now. I wait before I actually jump on clickbait articles. I wait before I give an opinion because I want to experience that product first before even tailoring my thoughts out into the open without any solid foundation of how a particular feature is going to work. That's how things should be, but people don't listen. They always think the most negative scorned earth outcome, and it leads to this. It leads to you, you, and you, the holy trifecta of motherfuckers being wrong. It leads to glowing reviews like this, people who doubted the game for one singular feature when they could have played DMC4 and figured out the micros don't really bother anyone in that game and I knew they were going to make it akin to DMC4 where you really don't need it. Now, of course, of course little babies who disagree all the time stare at your menu screen, cry and complain constantly time and time again with the goddamn pacifier in your mouth scream screaming and hollering about micros that you don't even have to buy. I know it just burns your ass when something is minuscule and you don't need it, but you pretend that you need it. You pretend that Capcom is like EA and they pulled an EA move and they're really gunning for you. They went in your house and they shot your dog. Please keep pretending, keep dreaming. This game is one of the best action games of the year, supposedly. And of course, I wanna see for myself. And when I see for myself and I play it and things really come into fruition, then I'm not going to have the same issues. I'm not going to feign boycott. This is an era where I enjoy video games. I enjoy movies. I enjoy music on my own merits, but it's really telling. It's really telling the reviews that people are putting out there when they said so much crap in the past about this game. Jim Sterling, hey, he's getting blown up for what he's saying right now, being a hypocrite. And hey, you gotta take that L sometimes, right? You have to be exposed. You have to watch what you say. You have to do a thorough analysis before you say anything. People don't use Google these days. People are just sometimes dumbasses. 
and it really shows with their behavior online and the attention they want to get from making either clickbait videos clickbait articles they want to fucking be wrong to get attention and this is the platform that we're on now youtube is a vector for misinformation in 2019 and it's fucking true and i'm getting so fucking sick of it i hate it i fucking hate how this website is tailored i hate how people just jump on the bandwagon and believe something because it's in the title stop being like this stop being heard it like cattle from dumb information that comes from a source of a person who wants to cry wolf about a video game you might be potentially interested in. Now, I'm not saying there aren't some people on this site that are true to their word. Some people are still genuinely honest, but you have to know and pick and read between the lines. Reading is fundamental these days. Use your divine intellect, at least try, because I know some people aren't that sensible to read in between the lines when your favorite content creator is definitely lying to you when your favorite content creator is going for clicks you see i told everyone this will happen i told you i told you these journalists they aren't going to miss out on games that they claim they have micros they aren't going to miss out because it's their job to review these games it's their job to do it and they're going to cover it regardless who cares about what boycott they're talking about if micros are implemented in the experience they're going to review another ea product and they might give it a glowing score despite the fact that ea has been trash so this philosophy of comparing every company to ea i don't get it because they have micros you know it doesn't mean that the game still won't be good like the same case is with dmc5 it's just a complete conundrum a complete issue that came up in the past and people have to admit they were wrong devil may cry is still fun even with this feature and you don't have to buy the micros some people did say there were three taunts that were insanely grindy but i don't care about taunts personally when i pick the game up all i care about is the moves that i get how accessible is the game when i am using moves that i really really need like jump canceling like certain attacks certain combos that you get with dante that's the main meat of a hack and slash making your character more versatile i could give a fuck less about a million dollar taunt i'm serious i i i don't care less about it three playthroughs and i probably already got it if you're a hardcore dmc fanatic anyway you're gonna play through this game multiple times multiple times until you maxed out everything if you're a casual maybe you'll play it for like five days maybe four you'll beat the game once and that's it but it doesn't mean that you still can't get orbs it doesn't mean that you still can't grind it doesn't mean that maybe bloody palace is around the corner in april and you'll be able to get orbs that way because you could in dmc4 sc you could migrate orbs from that experience that battle arena experience over into the main game it's just a sight to behold when i told people that this day was coming and it finally did come and like i said some people are saying hey faust hat is super broken you can grind the fuck out of the orb system with the faust hat even in the main game and i said this months ago with the implementation of what they were doing with the game they knew exactly what they were gunning for and i guess it just burns your ass that your messiahs young yeah joe jim sterling they're gonna give the game glowing reviews as well and they already started uh i hate to say i told you so but i told you so anyway this is renegade operative signing off i guess that's the end of this devil may cry 5 controversy some people have to take that l i mean i don't encourage you to go out of your way and harass jim sterling but hey just say you know 
I thought you were a hypocrite for saying this game would be bad with micros and you're starting to give it like a high score. What's the deal with that fam? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh man. I'm signing out. You can follow me on social media at rent operative underscore on Twitter. You can follow me on Twitch at Ren underscore operative. No, that's not my fucking Twitch motherfuckers. God damn it. My Twitch is actually renegade underscore operative. My Twitter is rent operative underscore. Uh, anyway, you can find all that shit in the description. I will put my link tree right there and you can follow me anywhere from there. I'll see you guys next time. This was a fun little fiasco that happened a couple of months ago and I called it Black Bond, you suck. Oh no, it's Alex, you suck. All of you guys are some 180 niggas. Each and every single one of y'all. Y'all 180 faster than a hooker going to church and being legit. That's how fast you guys have 180 on the situation. Jim Sterling, you're hypocrites, and I will see you guys next time later. Oh, one more thing. DMC Devil May Cry defenders get fucking roasted. Get destroyed, sir. Your freaking Shakespearean Dante-like experience is now history. Devil May Cry is back, bitch.